What's up guys, back again with another video in the Spigot series. This time I'm going to show you how to use RGB colors within your 1.16 Minecraft plugins. Alright, so this was a suggestion by this guy named Lucas on my Discord server. So if you want to join this community and leave suggestions, you can also do that. And I'll maybe make some videos on them. So uh, yeah, do that. And uh, besides that, what we're going to do today is do... Well, we're going to show how to use colors, like different RGB colors within your Minecraft plugin. Then I'm also going to show you how you can use um, color codes, like regular color codes and RGB color codes together using a thing I made. And then also we're going to learn how to use uh, color codes within configs like he suggested, okay? So that's what we're going to do this episode, so let's get started here. The first thing we want to do is make a new class. We'll call this color command. And yeah, so in 1.16 of Minecraft, they added the capability of using uh, RGB colors and chat in other places. So that's going to be really powerful because in the past, as you might know, we've been limited to a few, like maybe 15 different color codes. So we can't really uh, diversify our colors usage, I guess. So this will be really powerful and really awesome. So, yep. So let's get started here. So command executor. So we're just going to make a simple command that we can use to test this feature out. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that basic layout for our command here, let's try doing or let's try sending a player a message using our uh, RGB colors. So let's try let's try doing it. So uh, p dot send message, and we want to do normally we would do chat color and then dot, and then we have all these you know colors to choose from here. But uh, now what we want to do is use well well first of all we don't want to use the chat color from bucket or dot bucket. We want to use the chat color from Bungie here because that um. Well, the bucket one does not have, have the capability of using the RGB color code, so we have to use this one. And that's actually fine. They work the exact same way. So use this one, and it's going to auto-import that for you. And now we can do dot, and now there's a bunch of methods we can use. They have all the regular color codes that we just saw, but we also have this cool method called dot... Oh, wait. It's not here because we haven't... Well, currently, if we look to our palm.xml, we can see that our plugin version is using 1.15 still. So we want to change this to 1.16. So we can do that just by going here and putting 1.16 and then now go up here and click this button here and it's going to reload the dependency for you and update the library. So once this is done loading, we can come back here and see the updated methods that we have available now. So just give this one second here. Uh, oops, cannot resolve dependency. So it looks like we have an issue here. So let's try this. Yeah, like that. That should work. So let's try again. All right, cool, so that should work. And so now we can do chat color, make sure it's the bungee chat color, like I said, dot of. And you can use this dot of method to either provide a hexadecimal string of a color code, which I'll show you in a second, or you can provide a color object, okay? So the color object is something provided by, um, let's see, well, that's it's provided by java.awt, so that's what we're gonna be using here. There's also a uh, org.bucket version of that, but uh, I think we're gonna be using the java.awt version of that. So what we can do is choose from these different color codes that color has to offer, and we can use that inside of our plugin, right? So we can choose, uh, we can choose, let's choose this, let's use this pink one right here, so this light pink color. So we can do chat color dot of color pink, and that's going to basically apply the pink color to the chat color. And of course, we're sending a message, so we want to apply that to a string message. So let's say something like hey. So that should print out a pink colored hey message to the user, basically. So let's see if that works or not. Okay, so uh, first thing first, we want to register this command, of course. So git command, uh, we'll call this color dot set ex executor, and we'll say new color command. Okay, pretty simple. And now finally, let's go to our plugin.yml and do commands. Let's change this to 1.16. Oops, 1.16. But yeah, commands, then do color and description. We'll say color. Okay, pretty simple. So that's good for that. Let's run this now, and now I'll see you in the server. Okie dokie, so we're on the server now, and we can do slash color, and boom, we see, we see hey down here. And as you can see, it's uh, applying the light pink color, which is awesome. So we know it works. Awesome. So as you can see, it's already pretty awesome. So we're, <laughs> we're able to. What the hell is even that? So that's pretty cool, right? But as you can see, we're that's not very useful because we're still limited to a certain range of colors that are provided by the color um, 
object here so color dot and we have all these colors here but of course like i said two seconds ago this is very limited right because there's only so many colors you can use so how can we use um a, like our own custom rgb colors right so we can actually just make a new color object of our own and for the constructor for the object we can see that we have all these different options here but as you can see we can provide a rgb value so how do you get that value so if you pull up google and you search rgb color picker you can have this nice little thingy here and you can choose any color you can mess around with this choose a color that you like and then it'll give you the rgb value so 73 54 156 so that's how rgb works so we can choose any color here let's find a color that we like um yeah let's do do uh doo doo brown here so we'll choose doo doo brown and then uh we want to copy these three numbers the rgb values into the color constructor here so there we go and now what that is going to do is construct a new color object we're using these three rgb values and basically apply that to the chat color and then apply that to our thing here so it should say hey um in doo doo brown basically so Yep, so let's change this to something else though. Let's change it to, wow, I'm so funny. Because I'm obviously really funny. But anyway, let's run this now. And let's see what it looks like in the server. Okie dokie, so let's do slash reload here. And then we'll do slash color once that's done. Boom, there we go. And then, as you can see down here, it says, wow, I'm so funny. And poo poo brown. Very nice. So that's how you can do that. So obviously this is very powerful. You can use, you know, any basically any color in the universe, um, you know, with RGB, which is awesome. You have such a, you know, massive range of colors you can use in, uh, now instead of having to be limited to the previous 1.15 and below colors that Minecraft provides. So that's really awesome, but we're still kind of limited. Oh, wait, before I explain that, let me show you also this. If you do comma, you can provide a fourth parameter, which is the, uh, well, it says A, but that's basically the opacity uh, I believe so if you do control Q and then select this oh, it says the alpha component so that's going to be I believe the transparency of the color so let's try changing this to something let's try 25 okay that didn't really do anything maybe I'm using it wrong but yeah you can play around with all that stuff if you want to but now what I want to show you to how to do is use well there's another way you can use rgb colors is with a hexadecimal string so if we go back to the color picker here you can see that besides all these other different uh color types besides rgb we also have this hex um string here that we can copy and then we can actually use that if we want to so basically if you're curious um, this is just another way of representing the same color instead of rgb you're representing in hexadecimal which is a uh way of representing numbers and stuff in a different format, I guess. So yeah, so copy that. Well, actually first let's choose a different color. Let's choose something nice, like this nice green here. So we just copy that hexadecimal color code for the green. Then we'll go back here to our project. And now instead of putting it right here, we can get rid of the color objects and just paste it um, right here as a string for chat color dot of as a parameter. So just put that as a string and there we go. So that what that should do is convert this hexadecimal color code into the color that that represents and then apply that to the wow I'm so funny but let's change this again so we'll say work those glutes and yeah so it should work now so instead of using RGB or using the preset colors that it offers we're using a hexadecimal color string which should do the exact same thing but uh, there's a different way of doing it so that's you know the different way so anyway let's try testing this out all right so let's do slash color and boom, we get work those glutes in a nice dark green color. So those are the three main ways that you can use RGB color codes within your Minecraft plugins now. So you can send messages with those colors. You can uh, put, you know, colors up here if you want to. You can, there's a lot of different, you can do titles, subtitles, action bar titles. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can use these custom color codes with. So um, make some really cool stuff for me, okay? So let me show you something really cool that I made that we can use to um, basically, well, let me show you something. So normally when we use, you know, the regular color codes in Minecraft, so chat color dot translate color codes and put in that symbol and then put in the color code that you want to translate. So we can say and be I'm a pickle boy. And so what that'll, that'll do is send a message to the player in blue, light blue aqua. That's called aqua. And that's basically, you know, the same thing as doing chat color dot aqua so it's just translating it behind the scenes right so that's how you can use color codes within your plugins normally 
So let's say we want to use a hexadecimal with those color codes just by replacing the B with the hexadecimal color code that you want to use. You may think that maybe, um, you know, the person who created this would maybe integrate that, but they didn't yet. So, um, yeah, so this is not going to work, basically. It's not going to translate this I'm a pickle boy string here into this dark blue color here. So you can only use the preset old Minecraft color codes with the, you know, translate alternate color codes method here. So what I did is I made my own um, utility method here, which is really cool. If you go into my Discord server real quick, go into resources. I'll leave a link for this in the description below, by the way, so you don't have to go there. But uh, there's this cool method here. You can go here, just copy this entire thing. It's actually a class with a method. So we'll just copy all that, go back here, new Java class, we'll call it color utils. And it's really cool. Um, basically it's capable of translating both the regular, you know, traditional color codes and hexadecimal color codes all together, which is awesome. So this is the code for doing all that. So all you gotta do now is if you want to translate the color code, you can just, you know, cut this that you want to translate and go back to here and do uh, color utils dot translate color codes, pass in the thing that you want to translate. And now it's going to automatically translate this color code here. Make sure you have and in front of the hexadecimal string into the proper dark blue color and apply it to this string here, which is really cool. And you could also mix it in with, you know, the traditional color codes. This is actually not a color code. It's a like an effect. So it makes it bold. So let's do this first. Let's make it, you know, uh, dark blue so we can see that it works. So let's run this and I'll see you in the server. All right. So slash reload, then do slash color and boom. So now it says I'm a pickle boy with dark blue, which is exactly what we expected. And it works pretty cool, right? So hopefully you like that, but let's show you how you can do some other advanced stuff. So we can mix it in, like I said, with the traditional color code. So we can do and L then we could do uh, and A for green, and then we could even use another hexadecimal if we want to. Um, so if we go back to our color picker here, let's change it to, uh, let's do a nice red here. So copy that, go back here, paste it, and now it should mix all that together and apply it to the whole string. So let's run this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we'll do slash color after the sudden reloading and boom. Now it says I'm A in bold, by the way, because we put the and L pickle boy in red. So as you can see, it works perfectly. So hopefully you like that. I made that just for you because I love you. Hi. Okay. So I'm going to show you how you can now use this together with a config.yml so that you can basically allow um, your, whoever uses your plugin to customize, you know, what colors they want to use inside the plugin, right? So let me show you how to do that. So if we go back to here and we make a plugin or a config.yml. So we'll do config.yml. And we're just gonna make something very simple just for testing purposes. We'll say kill message. And we'll say something like uh, just sliced Alexander's head off. Okay, and so let's apply some color to this. So um, let's get some, let's go back here. And let's grab a color for our sentence. So we'll do a nice green again. Just copy that, put it here. Make sure you put the and and then the color. And then um, after Alexander, we want to do it again. So and color. And then we want to color Alexander. So we'll go back to here and let's choose a nice, we'll do purple for Alexander because purple is very nice looking. And then we want to make that uh, purple bold and make sure you put the and again. I almost forgot. And so that's going to do, what color was that? I forgot what color I used, but it's going to put that color on this and then change it to this for Alexander's, make it bold. But then let's put and R to reset the color and then use um, the other color code to finish it off. So don't worry, you'll see what it looks like. But now let's use this config option. Well, first we need to set up our config here in our main class. So let's go back to RGB tutorial and we need to add this. Let me just copy it real quick right here. And then um, now we want to also provide a method to our main here. So let me just copy this too. Plugin is equal to this. I'll explain that in a second, don't worry. And yeah, so what we did here is just, oh wait, we need to change this to RGB tutorial. RGB. Okay, so this is uh, just basically a method that I have created to basically grab an instance of the main class. We're gonna need that to grab the config within any other class. 
So if we go to color command, we can change this from uh, send message chat color translate. We can use, uh, well, inside of here, we want to do uh, RGB tutorial dot get plugin dot get config dot get string, then provide the name of what we want to get. So kill message. So boom. So what that should do is basically get the kill message, this entire thing from our config.yml, put it into our nice color utility translate color codes thing that I made. So it's going to translate all the hexadecimal color codes and stuff like that. And then it should send that message to the user. So let's see what happens when we do that. Okie dokie. So let's do slash reload here, slash color. And let's see what happens. Boom. Oops. And now we get just sliced Alexander's head off, which looks beautiful because we use some very nice colors here. So yeah, that's how you can use a uh, config.yml with our custom colors using hexadecimal colors, um, RGB hexadecimal colors and whatever. And we can integrate that with our color utility thing that I made. So, yep. So thanks for the suggestion. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Lucas, thank for, thanks for the suggestion. Hopefully this helps you out too. And like I said before, if you have a suggestion yourself, then you can leave one and I might do it if it's a good suggestion. And one more thing I want to show you real quick. It's kind of cool if you want to test this out for yourself. But be warned, you might lag out your server. But uh, if we go to, let me just copy it. So give me one second. Okay, so let me just copy that, paste it. So this is just a nested for loop. Let me just code, reformat code. So that's going to make it look nice. So basically what this is going to do is basically just a loop through each RGB value, each integer value for RGB, then print out a message called color with the color applied for each RGB value in the spectrum. So this will print to you, print to your character, every single RGB color that is out there using the RGB scale. So this is going to be at least 16 million colors. So it's going to be very, very laggy and very, very hard on your CPU. So maybe if you have a nice CPU, it'll work. But... I'm not even I'm not even able to run this. Actually, change this to uh, B plus plus. Um, you can add you know R plus equals five or twenty just to make it less laggy on your CPU, so you're not doing all sixteen million values. But if you want to run all sixteen million, then do plus plus. So that'll cycle through each uh, RGB value. So yeah, that should print out every uh, color in the spectrum. So you can you know look at that if your computer can run it. So I'll give that a try just in case you want to play around with that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this episode. I showed you how to use any color within your Minecraft plugin using, well, first we showed you how to use the colors provided by the color object. Then I showed you how to use RGB values to construct a color. And then I showed you how to use hexadecimal strings to construct a color. And then I showed you how to use my color utility thing to translate color codes and regular, you know, traditional color codes together to form colored strings, which is gonna be very powerful for your plugins in the future to mix those two things together. So. If you have any questions about what I showed you this episode, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below or join our Discord server. We have a big Discord server with over 1,300 members last time I checked, so if you need any help at all with your programs, you can hop into one of these help channels and get some help. You can also just hang out and get some new friends if you want to, so just make sure you click the invitation in the description below. Don't forget in the description below, I'll also leave a link to the code for this episode so you can come back to it at any time and use it as a reference. I'll leave good detailed comments around the code so you can have a good explanation in text form too in case you don't want to watch my awesome videos again. One final thing I want to tell you about, if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month. If you join, you can get cool perks like a special Discord rank on my server, early access to these videos, and you get shouted out like you see on the screen right now. If that sounds good to you, feel free to join for, like I said, as low as 99 cents a month. All right, that's it. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.